I'm, I'm starting to sweat and I just took a shower so this is like very inconvenient. Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is what I eat in a day and I just quickly wanted to say before this video starts that I don't usually cook that much every single day in the week. Most of the times I'm very lazy with my meals and I basically only eat bread because that's the fastest thing I can do. But there are some days in the week where I get so bored that I just spend the whole day cooking and for the sake of this video, I decided to film one of those days because it's much more interesting than seeing me eating bread for literally every meal of the day. For breakfast, I decided to do a mango avocado bowl and you're just gonna mix the avocado and the mango and then you're just gonna add whatever toppings you like. The color doesn't look too promising, but trust me, this tastes so good. I chopped mine with some chocolate granola, almonds, walnuts, blueberries and some chia seeds, but my toppings change every time with whatever we have at the house at the moment. And I also ate some banana bread that I made the day before that and let me tell you that was such a good breakfast. I wish I would do it every morning but I'm just too lazy. And look, my books arrived. This is totally unrelated to the video but I got really excited so I still wanted to share it. lunch I made filled sweet potato and I added bell pepper, not the lemon, I don't know why I showed it, carrots and chickpeas and some corn, but you can add whatever vegetables you like. First you're gonna peel the sweet potato and then you're gonna cut it in half. And let me tell you, this is so hard, I'm surprised that I didn't cut off a finger in the process. I don't know what this thing is actually for, but I used it to carve out the sweet potato and I basically carve out little cubes that I can roast with the potatoes later on. And this was so hard as well. It was like honestly a full body workout and I used my whole strength to carve out the sweet potato and I looked so aggressive while doing it and yeah it was just a lot of work. Then you're gonna peel and cut the other vegetables and fill the carved out sweet potatoes with them. Then I added a little bit of oil, salt and pepper and then put it in the oven at around 180 degrees celsius for 20 to 30 minutes. But my potato wasn't very well cooked through so I'd recommend putting it in at 200 degrees celsius because that's what I did the first time and it worked much better. For the sauces you're gonna need tahini, hummus, yogurt and the lemon I showed you in the wrong clip and I used this mixture of spices which consisted of chili, garlic, coriander and cumin. And for the first sauce, you're gonna mix the tahini and the hummus together and obviously I had to spill it because I can't do anything without making a huge mess. And then you're also gonna add some lemon and salt and pepper. And for the second sauce, I mix Greek yogurt, salt and pepper, lemon juice and the spices together. I'm the kind of person
person that needs to eat while I wait for my food to be ready. So I ate some corn and then I ate monta. And this is the only correct way to eat monta. You first eat the chocolate from the bottom and save the hazelnut part for later. And you can't argue with me about that. Once the potato is soft, you can take it out of the oven. And here is my really bad attempt at trying to make it look beautiful. And obviously I had to spill it again. But I got really mad at the sauce because it didn't land on pretty on my potato. That sounds weird. Anyways, especially the tahini and hummus sauce just ended up being a huge blob of sauce on the potato. For dinner I found this recipe on Pinterest, I'm gonna link it down below, but it's a vegetarian korma I think it's called. And I used the double amount of potatoes than he told me to use, which ended up being a mistake because I had way too many potatoes, but it's fine, I love potatoes. And here are all the spices that you need. And the first thing you do is peel and cut all of the vegetables you have. And then you're gonna boil some water. And while I filmed this afterwards, my camera fell backwards on the ground. And here is me trying to see <laughs> if it still works. And it wasn't focusing no matter what I did. And I freaked out because I thought I ruined my camera. But luckily it started working after a while. I was so scared. Okay, let's go back to the recipe. Once the water is boiling, you're gonna first add the potatoes and let them cook for a bit. And then you're gonna add the other vegetables. Also don't forget to cook some rice because the recipe doesn't really mention that so I almost forgot it. And then I made the curry so I first cooked the ginger and the garlic a bit in the oil then took it off the heat and added the tomato paste which by the way I forgot to show it in the ingredients section but whatever there's also tomato paste you need to add and then you're gonna add all the spices. Then you're gonna put it back on the heat and add all the other ingredients of the curry. As you can see, I didn't really measure anything because the recipe measures everything in cups and I don't have any. And I was too lazy to find out what cups would be in grams, so I just did whatever. Once your curry is ready, you're gonna add in the vegetables. As you can see, I made way too much because of the double amount of potatoes I used. And I didn't really thought that through, so... Um, I made a huge mess while trying to put in the vegetables into the curry and I also burned myself several times so that was fun and here is me trying I'm so stupid trying to get all of that into the curry with this tiny spoon like what why <laughs> Once everything is in the pot, just stir it well and make sure everything is covered in the curry and then you can just serve it. And let me tell you, this recipe was so good, so I highly recommend you checking it out in the description box below.
So that was it with the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm gonna see you next time. Bye! Thank you.